Forget about the Yankees and the Red Sox. Two of baseball's most venerable franchises are about to meet on the field of play. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers. For those unfamiliar with the great place on a great lake, a few fun facts. The mid-19th century migration of German Jews to Milwaukee made our fair city a beacon of Reformed Judaism, only slightly dimmer than Cincinnati. Milwaukee is the town that made beer famous. Still home to Miller Beer, it was the original location of Schlitz, Pabst Blue Ribbon, Blatz, and many more. Laverne and Shirley, cute 70s sitcom, but I still wonder, if this was set in Milwaukee, why did they have Brooklyn accents? I got it. I'll ask Pat Sally the locker lady. She sees everybody. She'll know where we can borrow some dresses. Just saying. Ask one of your friends in the industry. A sitcom that got it was Happy Days. Friendship, young love, the Cold War, it had it all. And the Fonz, who, by the way, I've had Seder with. We feel so strongly about him in Milwaukee, there's a bronze statue on one of our many picturesque bridges. Happy Days was modeled, some say, after Cops Custard. Others say it was Leon's. Either way, if we lose, we're sending you food for a tailgate party, including kosher bratwurst and, for dessert, Cops Custard. We'd send beer, but that gets complicated. L.A. has nice weather, but we actually have four beautiful seasons here in Wisconsin. And while winter is long, there is what to do. Sports are taken seriously. Everyone is a Packers fan. You've got the Bucks playing in a brand new arena. And of course, you're about to meet your nemesis, the Brewers. Dodgers dodging the streetcar in Brooklyn Brewers, a good blue-collar job whose product many enjoy. Far be it for me to bring up the 2011 McCourt ownership dispute, but I will note that it was Milwaukee's own Bud Selig who negotiated the eventual successful sale. Good luck, and may the best team win. <laughs>